Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Helm of Science. So in the previous class we have discussed the important formulas of compound angles and we have also solved some problems related to this chapter. So today we will continue doing some more important problems from this chapter. So let's get started. So the first question is prove that cos x plus cos of 2 pi by 3 plus x plus cos of 2 pi by 3 minus x is equals to 0 okay so basically we have to prove this one so we will take lhs so it is cos x plus cos of 2 pi by 3 plus x plus cos of 2 pi by 3 minus x now this cos will cos x will remain cos x no problem with that now if i consider here 2 pi by 3 as a and x as b so it is now in the form of cos of a plus b and the second one it is in the form of cos a minus b so what is the formula of cos a plus b it is if i consider 2 pi by 3 as a and x as b then i can write cos a cos b Minus sine a sine b. Okay. Next, this is cos of a minus b form, so it is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. Now you can see that here. Sine two pi by three into sine x and plus sine pi by uh, sine two pi by three and sine x will get cancelled because it is minus and this is plus. So we will be left with cos x plus two cos two pi by three into cos six. Okay. Now. What is two pi by three? Two pi by three means two into sixty degrees. So we can write here as cos one twenty degree into cos x. Now this is cos x plus two into. Now this cos one twenty can be written as this. That means one twenty can be written as ninety plus thirty into cos x. Okay. Now this is cos six plus. Now is it? It is associated angle. So two uh, cos ninety plus thirty. Now ninety plus thirty means second quadrant. So cos is negative. So it is ninety. So cos will change to sine. So it will actually two into minus sine thirty degree. Okay, into it is cos six. Now sine thirty we all know that it is half. So it will be cos x plus two into minus half into cos x. So two and two will get cancelled, and it is cos x minus cos x. So it will get cancelled, and we will be left with zero, which is equal to R H S. Okay. So here L H S is equal to. R H S. So we have proved this. Okay. Now we move on to the next question. The second question, what it is saying that it is simplify one plus sine of a plus b by cos a cos b plus sine of b minus c by cos b cos c plus sine of c minus a by cos c into cos a. Okay. Now. It is one plus sine of a minus b by cos a cos b plus sine of b minus c by cos b cos c plus sine of c minus a by cos c into cos a. Okay. Now one plus what is sine of a minus b? It is 
साइन ए कॉस बी माइनस कॉस से साइन बी होल डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस से कॉस बी प्लस व्हाट इज साइन ऑफ बी माइनस इफ आई कंसीडर हियर एज बी एज ए एंड सी एज बी सो इट इज साइन बी कॉस सी माइनस कॉस बी साइन सी होल डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस बी कॉस सी नेक्स्ट प्लस साइन ऑफ सी माइनस ए विल बी साइन सी कॉस ए माइनस कॉस सी साइन ए होल डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस सी कॉस ए नाउ if if i apply the distributive law here so it is 1 plus sin a cos b by cos a cos b minus cos a sin b by cos a cos b okay similarly it will be like this that sin b cos c by cos b cos c minus cos b sin c by cos b cos c i am just applying the distributive law so it is sin of c into cos a by cos c cos a minus cos c sin a by cos c cos a okay now now see what is happening here now you see that here cos b cos b cancel here cos a cos a cancel here cos c cos c cancel cos b cos b cancel here cos a cos a cancel and here cos c and cos c cancel now what will be left 1 plus sin a by cos a means tan a minus here sin b by cos b that means tan b plus here it is sin b by cos b so it is also tan b minus it is sin c by cos c that means tan c plus it is also tan c because it is sin c by cos c next minus it is tan a now if you see carefully then except one all the terms are getting cancelled it is tan plus tan a it is minus tan a it is plus tan c it is minus tan c it is plus tan b it is minus tan b so the final answer for this question is 1 okay this is the answer now we move on to the third question of today's class so here we have to eliminate theta and phi okay so given sin theta plus sin phi is equal to a and cos theta plus cos phi is equal to b and also given that theta minus phi is given as alpha okay now what is given i am writing this sin theta plus sin phi is given as a and cos theta plus cos phi is equal to b now if i square this terms that means if i square sin sin theta plus sin phi is equal to a squaring both sides okay so if i do that what will i get it is if i square them and add so what will i get so it is a square plus b square i can write is equal to sin theta plus sin phi whole square plus cos theta plus cos phi whole square here you can write that by squaring and adding by squaring and adding okay now so it is a square plus b square now if i break this it will be sin square theta plus 2 sin theta sin 
phi plus sine square phi okay plus it is cos square theta plus 2 cos theta cos phi plus cos square phi now see here cos square theta plus sine uh, cos square theta plus sine square theta it will, it will be one here sine square phi plus cos square phi it will also be one so one plus one is two so i can write here as a square plus b square is equal to now see it is actually what it is two i can take common so it is sine theta sine phi plus cos theta cos phi plus two i have okay now a square plus b square now we know that it is sine theta sine phi plus cos theta cos phi so what is the formula it will be cos of a minus b if i consider theta as a and phi as b so it will be cos of a minus b so i can write here because cos of a minus b is cos a cos b plus sine a sine b so it is cos of theta minus phi now in the question it is given that the theta minus phi is equal to alpha so in place of theta minus phi we can write it as here is 2 now we can write it as 2 cos alpha plus 2 okay so my final answer that means we have to eliminate theta and phi so it will be 2 into cos alpha plus 1 so this is my final answer a square plus b square is equal to 2 into cos alpha plus 1 okay so there is the answer for this question now we move on to the next question it is said in the question that if sine of a plus sorry if uh, if sine of alpha plus beta is equal to n into sine of alpha minus beta then prove that cot alpha is equal to n minus 1 by n plus 1 cot beta okay so i am writing it is sine of alpha plus beta is equal to n into sine alpha minus beta okay now from this i can write that n is equal to sine of alpha plus beta by sine of alpha minus beta now you can very well see in the question it is written that it is n minus 1 by n plus 1 so somewhat i have to do here component to dividend okay so i can get in the uh, so i can get n plus 1 by n minus 1 or n minus 1 by n plus 1 whatever so here we have to do component to dividend okay so here applying component to dividend what we get it is n plus 1 by n minus 1 is equal to it is what it is sine a plus sorry sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta by it is sine of alpha plus beta minus sine of alpha minus beta okay you can write here as applying component or dividend applying component or dividend okay now so it is n plus 1 by n minus 1 it will remain same now if i break this it is sine of alpha plus beta that means it is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta okay now if i break this this is also sine alpha cos beta now in this time it is minus cos alpha sine beta in the denominator what will i get it is same it is sine alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sine beta now it is actually minus so minus sine alpha cos beta now it will be plus because it is minus in the uh, before sine so it is it will become plus so it will be cos alpha into sine beta okay 
So it is sine beta. Now, if you see carefully, this and this will get cancelled. Here, this and this will get cancelled. So ultimately, it is n plus 1 by n minus 1 is equal to 2 sine alpha cos beta by 2 cos alpha into sine beta. Now, this 2 and 2 will get cancelled n plus 1 by n minus 1 is equal to what? Now see, it is sine alpha by cos alpha, it is tan alpha. And it is cos beta by sine beta. So it will be cot beta. Okay. Now in the question, we have to what proof that cot alpha is equal to n minus 1 by n plus 1 into cot beta. Okay. So if I change this, that means if I... Uh, place the tan theta in the left hand side. So it is 1 by 10, sorry, 1 by 10 alpha. So it will be n minus 1 by n plus 1 into cot beta. So what is 1 by 10 alpha? It is cot alpha. So I can write cot alpha is equal to n minus 1 into n plus 1 into cot beta. So it is proved. We have proved this. Okay. Now we move on to the next question. So what it is saying, if tan theta is equal to x sin alpha plus y sin beta by x cos alpha plus y cos beta, then prove that x sin of theta minus alpha plus y sin of theta minus beta is equal to zero. So what it is given, let's write first, tan theta is equal to x sin alpha plus y sin beta by x cos alpha plus y cos beta. Okay, now we will solve this. So tan theta can be written in this form. That means sin theta by cos theta. And this will remain same. By x cos alpha plus y cos beta okay now simply we will cross uh, simply cross multiply so it is sine theta into x cos alpha plus y cos beta is equal to it will be cos theta into x sine alpha plus y sine beta Okay, now we will multiply. It will be x sine theta cos alpha plus y sine theta cos beta is equal to x sine, or you can say cos first. So it is cos theta sine alpha plus y cos theta sin beta. Now we will bring the x term in the left hand side and y term in the right hand side. Okay. So it is x sin theta cos alpha minus x cos theta sin alpha is equal to it is what y cos theta sin beta minus it is what this minus y sin theta cos beta okay now i take x common so it is sin theta cos alpha minus cos theta sin alpha Okay, now this is we have to, what we have to prove this one. So if I take y as common, so it will be um, cos theta sine beta minus sine theta 
cos beta okay so it will be left now if i do this that means now see if i consider theta as um a and alpha as b so it is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so it will be actually sin of theta minus alpha okay now here if i take a minus common that means minus outside so it will be sin theta cos beta minus cos beta sorry cos theta sin beta now we have got this result no it is minus what is it what is it if i consider theta is a and beta is b so it is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so i can write here as this theta minus beta okay so it is like this so in the last step i can write that x sin theta minus alpha plus y sin it is theta minus beta is equal to 0 okay so we have proved this also it is proved this proved okay so we have proved this one only now we move to next question find the maximum and minimum value of 5 cos theta plus 12 sin theta plus 12 now if this type of sum comes then we have to do a thing suppose i am writing in general if it is a cos theta plus b sin theta plus c then always we have to multiply and divide the first two terms uh, with root over of a square plus b square okay so I, we we have to write that this one that is, uh, you can write this one as root over a square plus b square into a by root over a square plus b square into cos theta plus b by root over a square plus b square into sin theta plus c will remain asi okay c will be left alone no need of doing uh, multiply and divide of is root over a square minus b a square plus b square with c okay so this is the form so in this time it is given in this question it is given that i have to do this is that means i have to find the maximum and minimum value of 5 cos theta plus 12 sin theta plus 12 so it is given 5 cos theta plus 12 sin theta plus 12 so as you can see here a is actually 5 b is actually 12 and c is also 12 so we have to do first root over a square plus b square that means root over here 5 square plus 12 square so what it is root over 25 plus 144 so it is actually root over 169 which is equal to 13 so we have to multiply and divide by 13 okay so it is 13 into it is 5 by 13 cos theta plus 12 by 13 sin theta plus 12 okay now if i take a triangle like this whose this angle is suppose alpha okay this is a this is b this is c it is 5 it is 12 it is 13 so here i can say that sin alpha is what sin alpha is 5 by 13 so let here 5 by 13 is equal to sin alpha okay now see this is 13 into so i am just letting that uh, i am just uh, assuming that 5 by 13 is actually sin alpha okay it is sin alpha cos theta now here what will be cos alpha cos alpha will be 12 by 13 then so i am assuming that 12 by 13 here is cos alpha and it is sin theta present okay 
No. So if I remove this, no. Plus twelve is right given. Now see, it is what it is actually. Now see, if I consider that uh, alpha is a and theta is b, so it is sine uh, sine a cos b plus cos a sine b. So I can write as sine of alpha plus theta plus twelve. Okay. So by simplifying this, I have got this result. Now the value of sine the value of sine theta or is you can say this sine alpha plus theta will always the value of sine theta will always lie between minus 1 and 1 okay so i can write here as sine of alpha plus theta will always lie between minus 1 and 1 okay now we have to arrive that this have uh, this uh, algebraic uh you can say expression okay so for that first we have to multiply this with 13 so we can write here as minus 13 into 13 into sine of alpha plus sorry alpha plus theta it is 13 now what we have to do next we have to add 12. So what will I get? It is plus 12. So it is 13 sine alpha plus theta plus 12. It is 13 plus 12. Now see, this expression I have got by simplifying this. This. So in place of this, I can write here. So it will be what? It will be minus 1. And it will be 5 cos theta plus 12 sin theta plus 12. Okay. And this will be 25. So I have got the answer. So from this, I can say that the minimum value is for this expression is equal to minus 1. And the maximum value will be what? It will be. 25 okay so it is actually 25 so this is my answer for this question okay now we move on to the next question it is given if 10 of a minus b by 10a plus sine square c by sine square a is equal to 1 then show that 10a into 10b is equal to 10 square c Okay, so it is given 10 of a minus b by 10a plus sine square c by sine square a is equal to 1. Now, from this, what I can do, I can take this 10 of a minus b by 10a to the right hand side so i will be left in the left hand side as sine square c by sine square a is equal to 1 minus 10 of a minus b by 10a okay now what i can write here so it is sine square c Okay, so it is sine square c by sine square a. I am getting it is 1 minus sine of a minus b. In the since the tan is in the denominator, so I can write cos in cos a in the, in the numerator and sine in the denominator. So it is cos of a minus b into sine a. Okay. Now here, what I can do, which is actually what? Sine square C by sine square A. If I take the LCM here, it will be cos A minus B into sine A minus sine of A minus B into cos A by 
cos of a minus b into sin a. Okay. Now, now if you observe carefully, it is actually what it is cos a minus b into sin a minus sin a minus b into cos a. Okay. So here I can write in this way. That means if I consider a that means a as a and a minus b as b so it is actually what it is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b okay so we can write here as this this means it is sin square a sin square c by sin square a is equal to it is equal to sin a minus b so sin a it is actually a of a minus a minus of a minus b so it will be a minus a plus b Okay, a minus a plus b by cos of a minus b into sin a. Now, from this I can write that sin square c is equal to is actually sin b into sin square a by cos of a minus b into sin a. So here, sin a and one sin a will get cancelled. So it will be sin square c is equal to sin b into sin a by cos of a minus b. Okay. So we have got sin square c. Now we will. Find out cos square c. What is cos square c? Cos square c is basically one minus sine square c. Okay, so we can write here as one minus sine s and b. We simply will put the value of sine square c by cos of a minus b. Okay, now if I take the LCM, it is cos of a minus b. So it is cos of A minus B minus sine A sine B. Okay. Now, if I break the formula of cos A minus B, it will be cos A cos B plus sine A sine B minus sine A sine B. It is there. Hold divided by cos of A minus B. Okay, so these and these will get cancelled. So it is cos A cos B by cos of A minus B. Okay, now we have to prove that tan square C is equal to tan A into tan B. So if I write tan square C, it is actually what it is sine square C by cos square C. Okay. So simply we will put the value of sine square c and cos square c. Sine square c was what? It was sine a sine b by cos of a minus b. Now it is one by cos square c, so I can write cos of a minus b by cos a cos b. So these and these will get cancelled. It is actually sine a sine b. By cos a cos b, so it is actually what it is tan a tan b. Okay, so it is proved. We can say this is LHS. So we have find out the uh, values of sine square c and cos square c. Then we have applied this. Okay, so LHS. Is equal to RHS proved. Okay, now we move on to the last question of today's class. It is proof. It is given proof that cos square A plus cos square B minus two cos A cos B into cos A plus B is equal to sine square AB. Okay, so I take the LHS first. It is what it is. Cos square A plus cos square B minus two cos A 
cos b into cos of a plus b okay now here it will be cos square a now i will write this cos square b as 1 minus sin square b okay this cos a cos b now see it is i am writing the one as first it is cos square a minus sin square b minus 2 cos a cos b into cos of a plus b now we have formula for cos square a minus sin square b so what is cos square a minus sin square b it is cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b okay minus 2 cos a cos b into cos of a plus b now see from this last two terms i can take cos of a plus b as common so if i take it as common so it is actually cos of a minus b minus 2 cos a cos b okay now it is same now if i break this cos a minus b so it will be cos a cos b plus sin a sin b okay minus 2 cos a cos b now it will be 1 plus cos of a plus b into it will be what it will be sin a sin b minus cos a cos b because it is minus 2 cos a cos b and it is plus cos a cos b okay now i if i take the minus common that means that means if i take the minus outside it means this from from the bracket uh, if i take the minus so i will get cos a cos b it will become minus sin a sin b okay now cos a cos b minus sin a sin b will know it is the formula of cos of a plus b okay now it is 1 minus cos square a plus b so all of all of us know that 1 minus cos square theta is actually what it is sin square theta okay so we can write 1 minus cos square a plus b as sin square a plus b so it is equal to rhs okay so lhs is equal to rhs it is proved okay so that's all for this chapter we shall meet in the next video where we will start a whole new chapter of mathematics so if you found the video useful then like and subscribe to our channel helm of science and share it among your friends and if you have any doubts in this chapter then you can feel free to ask me in the comment box so we shall meet in the next video until then keep practicing and take care of yourselves thank you